Now you'll see a little bit further down on that list, Canada, who are getting 20 to one odds. That's for the reigning gold medalists at the Olympics. Uh, the long odds make sense, of course, after Canada was docked six points, as well as having their head coach and two staffers sent home as a result of the drone cheating scandal that blew up last week. Now, despite the penalty, Canada is still alive as they approach their group phase finale against Colombia. That's, of course, uh, after they beat France and New Zealand in their first two games at the Olympics. Now, the Canadian Olympic Committee is not very happy with what's happened. They filed an appeal, and in the appeal, they're claiming that the six-point sanction, quote, unfairly punishes the athletes, end quote. Um, Ali, what do you think of the penalty against this Canadian team? Is it too harsh, not enough, or did they get it just right? I'm honestly on the fence with this because it's unfortunate for the players. It's not their fault. They, they didn't know this was happening. And as a player, when you work your entire life for this moment, you want to be able to perform, but on the highest level, but there's consequences. And unfortunately, the leadership and the federation, uh, they, they made a decision and they made a choice and they made the wrong one. And obviously now the team gets punished and that's just a part of it. So yes, I do think on, on one side, uh, it is fair because this has now been going on for years and who knows how long and how far back, but maybe against, you know, the U.S. team that maybe, you know, was in the Olympics um, back in 2012 even. Um, and, and then the Olympic team who won last Olympic Games. And so I, I, I tend to, to not really have, um, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm on the fence of it. I don't really, um, you know, feel sad for the for the team because and the federation because um, of the cheating. Uh, I think that this was disappointing, but I'm sad for the players individually because, you know, this isn't their mm -hmm. fault. And so that's why I feel like I'm on the fence with it. And I don't know what would be fair. You know, this has never happened. And so how do you kind of calculate that? Like what would be fair? I think it's more than fair. I don't think anybody on the Canadian team can have any complaints. Obviously, if you're a player, it stinks and it's harsh on you. But the reality is, in any tournament, if you get caught cheating, you're probably getting kicked out. And I think that would be 10x, Allie, at a tournament like the Olympics. Where we're all supposed to be doing the right things for the right reasons. So to me, the fact that Canada got this deduction and they're still alive and with their group phase finale coming, they still have a shot means that they were treated more than fairly. I think they really couldn't have had, Ali, much of a complaint uh, if they'd have been kicked out of this tournament or penalized in a way that basically meant that they were eliminated. That said, they got a shot. They're playing Colombia tomorrow in the group phase finale. Colombia were the darlings of the last World Cup. All right? Do you think the Canadians can do it? Can they go three for three and pull off this miracle and get into the quarterfinals? Well, now I think they're having to just show up because they have that extra motivation, you know, being in the position that they're in and they want to prove to everyone that they could do it without, you know, cheating and without, uh, you know, the drone videos and, and everything that's kind of come along with this. And now they have this dark cloud above them and it's really unfortunate and the situation is really difficult. But um, I do agree, it's disappointing, right? It's, it's, you don't wanna ever see this in a tournament, no matter what the caliber of the tournament is. This is inappropriate, it's uh, sad, and it's disappointing, and especially for all the other teams and players who have worked so incredibly hard to get to this position, and even the federations, uh, without cheating. And so I get your point. Um, I, I think that against a Columbia team who can show up like they did in the Women's World Cup last summer, I don't know. They're going to have a difficult task at hand. But mm. if we see the C Canada team that was at the She Believes tournament, uh, hopefully that will be a good competitive uh, team that can come out and, and create chances and score goals, then yes, I think it's, it's a game that they can win.